guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of My Senpai is Annoying. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, hold on, in three, <laughs> two, one, go. <laughs> Should I record Kwame? Mm. After I upload this. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, baby. Oh, we know, we know. Oh, Futaba. <laughs> I already missed this show. <laughs> I hate the fact that today is the last episode. And the fact that it airs on Christmas. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I was ready today not to do anything. Because I was like, yeah, I had other things to get done. And then I was like, oh, wait. I still got to watch this. I still got to watch Comey tonight. I still got to watch Pretty Here tonight. So, still doing my ish. Thank God I got work on Tuesday. So, woo! Because <laughs> I would have been pissed if I had to work either tomorrow or Monday. <laughs> but that's her thing though But see, doesn't that possibly mean that maybe he's going to go work with them, though? <laughs> you poor baby, you fell right into it. Oh, so he's like a mentor to you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, boo, it's obvious that you like him. We all known this since like episode one. Mm. 
Yeah, of course. Once again, it's written all over your face. She's got this. <laughs> of course. Yeah, now it's just time to put it all to a test. I wish we would have gotten to see it, though. Yeah, because you've always come for him with lunch, you know. Like a date. So, of course, it is a little weird to go by yourself. But you know what? Sometimes it is okay to take yourself out on a little lunch date for yourself. Yes, jealous, say baby. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but what if he just wants to celebrate with you? No, but
Oh my god, literally, can y'all take a hint? Three, four, four, yeah, because it was four, y'all, four is a crowd. Let the two just go on that little date. Yeah, because you do look like a kid. Oh, but you did so cute and small. Oh my god.
<laughs> uh huh. You sure about that? And that's how their love story began. <laughs> Oh, baby. She has like, oh my god. <laughs> uh huh. Uh
Yeah, but that still was from his heart. Oh my god. <laughs> this was too much for a finale. Like, uh, I mean, okay, biggest thing I would have wanted to see is these two get together, but I'm guessing, like, manga-wise, wherever this last episode ended, possibly, just, you know, maybe, just a little bit of a maybe, these two probably got together in the future, you know, because things happen and such. But this was such a good show. It gave me a lot of feels towards, um, Love is Hard for Otaku and stuff. And probably a, a little bit of, um, Oh my god, what the hell is the name of that other show? Oh my god. Phone, I need your help. <laughs> uh, I reacted to it. Um, got it, got it. Oh, and I, it just came to my head. Recovery of an MMO junkie. Specifically just the relationship and everything and the fact that those who fall in love with each other and such. But, I mean, because, yeah, I'm, I'm, as someone who is older and such, but still I am young. I'm not older, older, but, you know, 28 is still young. Um, you get to relate more to adult, you know, relationships and friendships and, you know, working in the workplace and falling in love possibly with a co-worker. <laughs> Big enough for two. <laughs> yeah, you can just stay under there with him. I'm sorry, my heart. Oh my god, stop it. I want a season two. I'm sorry. I, I need it. I need it. Like, right the fuck now. Or at least in the next few years now. Because, I mean, you know, as I was trying to say, uh, like, and this is just my opinion. Okay. So, I do love watching when it is, like, a teenage girl and a teenage boy falling in love with each other and stuff. And you can sometimes relate to them, especially because when you're thinking back when you were a teenager and this is that and the third and how your first love, your first heartbreak and everything, you get to see that and, like, be reminded of that in, a, in an anime. But the one thing that I really truly love more about adult ones is that... There are some days that this is going to happen, that's going to happen, X, Y, Z is going to happen. Or, you know, you, you think you like him or because something happens. Or, I mean, I haven't really truly seen this in an anime yet when someone ghosts you. Or just anything typical norm that you're facing with being an adult and dating someone and stuff. Because you never really truly know what in the world is going to happen. There's going to be some good days and bad days. Which they did show in this show. I love the fact that, you know, when when Futaba got sick, you know, he was there. Same thing when he got sick, Futaba was there. Um, even for Sakurai and Kazuma with their situation and stuff, even though they didn't really confess that they were in a relationship, but there were times where it was like, oh, hell yeah, it's fucking obvious that you two are in a relationship and such. And it was just really sweet. I mean, that is one of the many things of why I really love adult, um, romance animes a lot more than teenager ones. Even though I still love me some teenage ones because... It's just sweet. It, it's just like <laughs> adorable and everything. But it's just something about adult ones that are just like, I, I don't know, maybe it's like more passion in a way or just certain situations. It just depends on like how it goes and such. But I mean, yeah, I, I really, truly enjoyed this. I hate the fact that this is the last episode because, you know, I want more. So I'm hoping and praying that this does get a second season, you know, 
some so many years down the down the road because it it was such a damn good show between this and Tato opening Destiny, um. I always loved uh, loved watching this on Saturdays and watching Talk Do on Tuesdays. They were like almost the best days to just be excited about those two shows. And every single week seeing what, you know, Futaba and everybody else is going to do with, you know, Destiny and Talk Do and Anna were going to do in that show. And the fact that they both ended this week, it, it's just sad. Like everything for this year is truly over. I mean, if I had to say, like, it is also between this and Talk Do opening Destiny for particularly my anime of the season. I don't know so what the hell would be my anime of the year because there there's I, I've seen so many, even counting Patreon shows and such. I've seen so many and I'm like, I can't do I can't just pick one. <laughs> this is hard. Like that's like asking, oh hey, who's your favorite child? And you don't want a parent to go in that discussion because then you know you're just gonna make all the other kids mad. So yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> but I mean still I, like I said just give me a second season. Or, you know, <laughs> let me read that manga. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire first season of My Senpai is Annoying. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all, you know, not really next week, but the first week of, <laughs> of January for winter. Probably later on today when I do watch Komi-san because by the time this comes out, I will officially be watching the last two episodes of that and then eventually pretty here later on tonight. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!